Hi, I'm Natalie Pack. I'm Miss California USA. You're watching my closet confessional on Choose TV. What was entailed in becoming a Miss California USA contestant? I didn't do any pageant coaching or anything. It was actually my first pageant. I didn't really know what to do. Mm -hmm. All I knew is that I needed a swimsuit, I needed a gown, and I needed some shoes. I got my shoes a couple hours before, and I borrowed my boyfriend's mom's jewelry, and she had some experience with pageants, so she was kind of like the person I went to for all the advice, and she helped me out a lot. I live so close to LA, so I'm kind of used to the glitz and the glam a little bit. You know, I've been modeling for about 10 years, so I do have some background experience, and I think that's what you know helped me out a lot. What are you studying at UC Irvine? Um, right now, I'm a biological science major, which is usually the precursor to medical school. I have a non-paying internship at Hoke Hospital. Right now, I work in labor and delivery and I'm able to watch the live births. You actually were a contestant on America's Next Top Model. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I did that when I was 18. I was in the final six and I, I was the first girl eliminated in Sao Paulo, Brazil. You have to let me go see your shoes, Natalie. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. These ones I got at um, a place in Orange County called Footsies. I picked them up like hours before the pageant and I wore these for my um, swim competition. The less impressive ones are okay. These ones that I actually won in, and I've had these probably for like five years. They're so beat up and dirty, <laughs> and I still have the Miss Hogue Hospital tag on the bottom. I've worn these to like every like major moment in my life, my prom, my homecomings, oh. my uh, first wedding, um, not mine, but somebody else's. And those are by Chinese Laundry, huh? Um, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, they are. They held up very nicely. Look at that. My school is a city, so I'm literally, in its hills, so I'm walking everywhere. So these of my school shoes. If I wore heels to campus or boots, my feet would be killing me. So I rely on these at school. Forever 21 makes the most comfortable shoes. I, if I ever want to reach for a comfortable pair of heels, I always go for my Forever 21 shoes. But these are funny because if I ever go out and I'm not in a super social mood for whatever reason, and I don't want to get hit on, wear my big heels because I'm a freak show in these. I'm six feet tall, so if I don't want to get approached by any men or not bothered, I will wear these and it works like a charm. These boots are special to me because these are Steve Madden's. I got them about two years ago and I learned how to ride a motorcycle in these boots. Wow, so, who taught you how to ride a motorcycle? I did a class, that's what I started out on, but yeah, they're all scuffed up. You can tell I was struggling a bit. I love these boots because it just, it just shows that side of me, that tomboy side of me, that rugged side. So I, I don't know, these are really special to me. Do you prefer a motorcycle over driving a car? Oh, of course. Do you? Oh, what kind yeah. of motorcycle do you actually drive or I ride? I just sold my Honda Rebel 250cc, but it's because it was a little too small for me. I'm looking to get a Harley Nightster. I think that's gonna be my next one. I always wear the boots and of course, my clunky helmet. What? These are my comfy boots. I have Ross, I think couple years ago. These, my shoe collection is probably worth like a total of like a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spend much on shoes because I live in sandals. I'm a Cali girl, so born and raised in California. Anybody that knows Southern California probably has a pair of rainbows. I live in these. These are my lifesavers. You can tell there's like still sand on them. Natalie, you were on season 12 of America's Next Top Model. Uh -huh. Now, which pair of these shoes did you wear on the show? We were in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, and we were running around trying to find the girl who sang the song, the girl from Ipanema. So I found her first <laughs> and I won these. They're made of Swarovski crystals. The strap is. That just makes me not want to wear them and touch them. I see your Miss California sash. Uh -huh. I know you're super excited to have that hanging up in your room. Oh yeah, have to display. Yes, please display and you can even put it on for us. I just love wearing it. It makes me just feel so proud. This is the official Miss California USA crown. How heavy is it? It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Unless it's on your head. I know you want to put it on. You go ahead and put it on your head. All right. Yeah, you know I'm dying too. It's adjustable. Got to think. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, I don't even know if I know how to do it yet. And then, of course, the crown, the sash, and the wave. Ah, oh, there you go! Don't drop! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get used to it still. Got a lot of practice. Miss USA will be your next competition um, now that you've won Miss California yep. USA, which in will be June. airing in June. Mm -hmm. And if you want to keep up with your reign and your activities and your community service, where should we go? Go to MissCaliforniaUSA.com. 